welcome to neighborhood number eight in our downtown San Diego walking tour. Number eight has a special place in my heart because I live in East Village, which is where we are, home of the San Diego Padres and Peco Park. East Village is downtown San Diego's largest neighborhood, kind of by far. It's comprised of from 6th Avenue all the way until 17th Street from L and K all the way up to uh, A and Ash when you hit up the 5 and 163. Also, East Village has the most room for development. Probably like 15 years ago, there's a lot of warehouses and stuff like that. You can see where Bumblebee Seafood is, is the uh, candy factory that used to be in the outfield, but when they built the stadium, they moved it over here and preserved it. There's also the Western Metal Supply Building that is built into the stadium. So a lot of brick warehouses um, and artist lofts were, you know, 15, 20 years ago. And now here we are in 2021 and a lot of mix of mixed use development. We have luxury high rises. We have, you know, six, seven, eight story buildings. We have the legend right here, which is actually the only residential building built inside of a ballpark in all of the United States. You have great views of the ballpark of America. They have a great seventh floor lounge that you can see all the concerts and ball games. We have Icon over there, which has the nicest rooftop in my factual opinion in all of downtown. And also if you see the dome right over there, it is a San Diego Central Library. So we really do hold a lot in East Village. Again, we have the most room for development and you'll see in the next five to 10 years, East Village will probably have the most development out of any neighborhood in all of downtown. We have Kilroy East Village, if you watch that video. We have East Village Quarter, if you watch that video with the San Diego Padres are partaking in developing just a really nice area where a lot of jobs are going to be coming to East Village. And also, in my opinion, I think East Village is really the most affordable neighborhood in all of downtown. You can get a studio for less than 300 k and you can get a luxury high-rise, you know, upwards of two, two and a half million if uh, these beautiful trees weren't in the way. You'd see the mark down there. Um, shout out to one of my colleagues who just put one into escrow of great views of the ballpark for, I think, one, one, two, five. So you can get stuff for under 300 k You can get stuff upwards of $2 million. And East Village is just very eclectic. It seems like a younger crowd, again, because it is more affordable. I tell people sometimes that tomorrow will be better than today, and today is better than yesterday, just with all the development going on. I also do believe that if you're looking for a great investment, East Village is the best neighborhood to invest in because I feel like you're going to be appreciating a little bit faster than the other neighborhoods because we have the most development in the next five to ten years. And if you want to be my neighbor, you know, there's got to be value in that. So we started off in Cortez Hill. We then went over to the Horton neighborhood. Then we hit up the financial district of the core of the city of San Diego. Then we walked down to the gas lamp, hit up the marina district, went to Columbia, hit up Little Italy and the Piazza, and then full circle back to my home hood of East Village. My step counter, I'm probably above 10,000 steps for the day, which is great because isn't that what people's goals are? It's mine. I do it sometimes, don't do it all the time. Nor here, nor there. But again, I am David Spiewak with Coldwell Banker Realty, a year ago to guy for all things San Diego, including detailed reviews of every neighborhood downtown, and of course, real estate. Um, you've seen a bunch of them. It, it is com <laughs> comprised of the largest. Um, again. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm telling you, this is crazy. Um, it's the end of the day. It is the end of the day. And we're still filming for some reason. Is the dog behind me? <laughs> bark, bark.